Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to find the coset of a subgroup of a group 3. We are given the subgroup H, E, J, K, L of G, where the K table of G is given. We are going to find all the distinct left and right cosets of H in G. To do this, first we must understand what is the coset of a subgroup. According to John Fairline's text, the first course in abstract algebra, section 10, page 97, it says that let H be a subgroup of G. The subset AH consists of A times H well, for all the H in the subgroup H there of G is a left coset of H containing A. While the subset H times A consists of H A where H in, in H there is the right coset of H containing A. After we understand this, now we proceed to go into find. Now we proceed to find the left coset of H first. To do this, the first left coset of H I am going to do E times H where this is consists of E times E E times J E times K E times L Since we know E is an identity element so we know that E times E is E E times J is J E times K is K E times L is L. So this is the first coset E times H. Now let's look at another coset. I'm going to pick A times H now. This is another left coset A. I pick A because A has not appeared in E times H yet. So I'm going to have A times E. Since H consists of E, J, K, L. Then A times J. Then A times K, then A times L. And let's look at what is A times E. A times E is A. You can see this from the diagram. A times E is A. And then A times J. We find out that A times J is equal to G. So I'm going to write down G there. Then A times K, in this case, A times K is equal to I. So I'm going to write down I here. Then A times L. A times L in this case is D here. So I'm going to write down D. So this is an iron coset. So I have two coset really. One of them is E times H. And another one is A times H. Now there is also another coset because so far we have eight elements now. Let's look at another coset. This time I'm looking at B times H now. This is because B have not appeared in E, H and A, H. B times H will consist of B times E, B times J, since H consists of E, J, K, L, and then B times K and B times L. So B times H in this case, let's look at the table now. B times E we know is B. Since E is an identity element, so let's look at B times E. We know is B. B times J in this case is H. So I'm going to write down H there. And B times K in this case is C. So I'm going to write down C here. And B times L in this case is F. So I'm going to write down F. So I have another coset now. This is B H, left coset. So now all the twelve elements of G has been accounted for, and we have all the distinct left coset of H. Notice that all the distinct left coset are destroyed. Now let's find out the right coset now. So right coset in this case, I'm going to find out. H times E first. Now, H times E will consist of everything in H multiplied by E. 
，所以可能是说 e times e j times e k times e and l times e。Since e is an identity element, so the right cross side h times e consists of e times e is e, j times e is j, k times e is k, and l times e is l. This is the first right cross side. Now let's look at another element not appear yet. Let's try now H A, the right cross side of A. So this will consist of E times A, J times A, K times A, L times A. So in this case, let's find out what is this element. We know that E times A is A, so I can write down A here. J times A in this case is I here, so I can write down I here, and K times A in this case is D here, so I write down D, and L times A in this case is G here, so I write down G. So this is the second cosec H times A. I have two cosec already. Counter for eight element. Now let's look at the third cosec. This time I'm looking at H times B now, right cosec of B, since B had not appeared yet. So I'm going to start with E times B, J times B, K times B, and L times B, since H is E J K B L. E times B is B since E the is the identity element. J times B in this case we find out that J times B is F. So we can write down F. Then K times B in this case is H. So we can write down H there. And L times B is C. So we can write down C. So I have all the right cross set now. The right cross set in this case, H B consists of B F H C. Now, if you compare the left cross set and right cross set, you will find that the right cross set H A is A I D G. The left cosec A H is A G I D. Notice that the right cosec and left cosec are the same. 